Hello you guys, it's me, Bob Ross. No mistakes, just happy accidents. So I myself love being creative and expressive throughout art and recently I've been painting a lot and just kind of dabbling into fun little things and so today I wanted to take on the challenge that I saw on YouTube by Casey Golden, the Teeny Weeny Art Challenge. And so pretty much what this challenge consists of is what it sounds like, is how tiny can we draw? So every single picture that we're gonna be drawing is gonna go from a regular size to a much smaller size, to a much smaller size, to a much smaller size, until we get to the And if you guys do like this challenge, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below if you would like to perhaps see me follow a Bob Ross tutorial. Cause Bob Ross is the man, and I do follow his tutorials on my free time, I know. It's therapeutic, it's ASMR, I love all that stuff. Painting, drawing, ASMR, all that all that weird stuff, I like it. So the drawing that I'm attempting to draw today is of course the one and only my true love, not Dennis. Sorry Dennis. Jupiter, my love, the love of my life, my golden retriever. So I'm gonna be scrolling through his Instagram and I'm going to find a picture that I would like to draw of him and we are going to watercolor. This little baby. This is the picture I have decided. This was Jupiter's second birthday. So cute. Look at him just smiling away. He had to be static. He has to work for your food. So he did stay there and then he ate the cake. So I'm going to sketch this out very, very quickly. I've never drawn this before. I have drawn Jupiter before in the past and I'm going to be using a nine by 12 piece of paper as you can see right here, a big piece of paper. Okay, and we are going to see how this is going to look. I started out by drawing the little outline of my little booty and pretty much just drawing in the little details, the hair, the little hat, which was so cute. His little smile is it's too perfect that's the hardest thing is like i kept erasing because i was like i can't get this to look as cute as my little baby his fur added a little bit of details there i would have to say the hardest part about this drawing was his eyes because jupiter has the cutest derpiest downward looking eyes i just wanted it to look as cute as him oh baby he is looking thick let me draw the cake here just for fun I went in, drew the little cake, added a little bit of like details, which I knew I couldn't add too many details because in the end, I mean, it's gonna get smaller, so there's gonna be less details. We'll just add a little sprinkles here and there. All right, you know what? We're gonna watercolor this out. Why not? Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna be taking my paintbrushes right here. So clearly this is more of a cartoon version of Jupiter. Not a very realistic one. Cause I know the details are just gonna be hard to match. So I'm just gonna start in with some colors. I'm gonna do white because Jupiter is very white, very, very white. White. I don't know how to work with watercolor, so if I'm already doing this wrong, I feel like I should not have added that much. Am I right or am I wrong? Someone comment below. All right, let's start with a little Bob Rossness. Let's see what we got. So, <laughs> I'm actually so nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's add some of Jupiter's yellow tones in. You know what, you guys? It's actually not that bad to work with watercolors. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it's not. I'm just gonna keep adding some color in there. Jupiter is a very white golden, as you can see. He is whiter than snow. I almost thought he wasn't a golden retriever. Huh? He was just so white, poor little baby. Ridiculed by the golden retriever community. <laughs> Somebody give me hope. I don't know. I don't know how this is turning out. It's not looking too, too bad, but it's just like, ooh, the shading is, okay. After finishing his little fur coat, I went in with a little bit of pink, a little bit of black. This was definitely tough because you see how precise his little mouth is? Mm. Then we got to the little eye parts. Now the eyes, I have to say, you know, the pen really helped out a lot. Just fill in those little extra details. Overall, I'm super happy with this one. I think he looks super cute. Not as cute as Jupiter in real life, but you know, how, how much cuter can, can I look? Can he look? Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, I added some blue. It was cute. I'm really happy with it. All right, so this very next one is a lot smaller, but I feel like now the challenge begins for real. So this one is about eight and a half centimeters by six and a half centimeters. And we're gonna do our little sketch and we're gonna, we're gonna try to make this happen. 
you guys have faith in me thumbs up if you do oh man what did i get myself into okay gotta sketch out his little outline body again okay not too bad oh he looks so cute and chubby i love it so let's add some golden color to him looking good looking like a real golden retriever now you know this time around i think i got the water coloring down because the shading was a lot easier than i thought it was going to be even though it was smaller using the pen to outline everything was a little bit tougher i guess because the details are getting smaller and then you know i just did the same thing pretty much the little dots on the cake and of course the beautiful blue background i already knew right off the bat the biggest challenge was going to be his cute little droopy eyes because as you can see they are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and i am trying to make them look as cute as my little baby is so what do you guys think comment below so i'm actually really surprised and really happy with the way this turned out i feel like this is more jupiter in real life a little bit derpier a little bit fatter a little bit cuter this one's cute but i have to say by far this one's my favorite it was really challenging though to get the whiskers in a little bit of the color in the eyes was really really challenging but overall i actually like this one more than the original i don't know what do you guys think we are moving into an even more of a challenge that tiny thing this is literally like oh my gosh look at how tiny this is much less than this one i'm excited to see what i could do with this all right let's do it okay here we go again so sketching out the outline again maybe because i've done it two times already it's coming to me but man this is really hard i have to say you know he's so tiny let's work on his little face defining his features wow shading this is kind of tough i might uh have used a little bit too much color here but you know what it's looking cute i'm proud oh my god his eyes his little derpy eyes <laughs> All right, so this was quite the challenge, but now I'm uh, kind of nervous about this one. I don't even know if there's much sketching to do with this on this one for real, because my pencil, mm, I don't know. I feel like for this one, I don't really need a magnifying glass just yet but perhaps for the next one. All right, as you can see here, the challenge has just begun because this is literally the size of my fingernail. So we had to use a little magnifying glass up in here. Look at his little derpy eyes. Everything is kind of blending in together. I have to say, I just started with the blue this time because I was like, mm, I'm kind of scared that it's gonna smudge. Woo, all right. I think that's the best we could do. He kind of looks like a little ghost, but he's still kind of cute, right? All right, you guys, I'm shocked that we managed to do that little thing, like this tiny little thing. Please give this video a thumbs up to give me moral support and comment below that you believe in me. That. <laughs> I have no idea how we're gonna do that. That is so wild. It's like, like these little particles are bigger than this piece of paper. It's it's freaking insane. Like, check it out. It, I mean, wow. Compared to, Compared to where we started, like, ooh, honey. <clears throat> mm, yeah, this is like his eye, pretty much. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're about to try to fit this picture into his eye. So obviously for this one, the very first thing we're gonna need is some tape because this little thing is not gonna get stuck here. So we're gonna need some tape. I'm gonna tape it down right next to my next little inspiration. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. Like, I uh, I don't know. I definitely had to take out another magnifying glass and just honestly work on shapes, not even details right here. As you can see, he's just a little cute. Two dots, one nose, and a little smile, and I'm very dang proud of this one. Bam, and we have a little Jupiter looking so cute, so happy, so amazing. Oh my goodness, I literally cannot believe that we were able to, to uh, finalize him. He is so tiny and so cute and so little. And I would say the only thing missing right now is really just to get the reactions of what Jupiter thinks about this art. So let's bring in the guest. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I did a good job and please subscribe and join the family for more weird videos like this every Wednesday and Saturday. And don't forget to hit that little bell to be notified of new videos. All right, Jupiter. So the very first thing that we drew is this little guy right here. Very cute, very much like you on your birthday, Jupiter, um, baby. So that is the very first picture that we did of you on your birthday. What do you think about this? Wow, pretty good, right? I'm so happy you like it. Cute, right? Okay, cool. So that was that picture. Thank you so much. The, oh, don't take a look at the other ones. The second one that we did was this really cute little one. I think this one turned out so adorable. Any thoughts on it? What do you think about this? It's pretty cute, don't eat it. Don't eat it. What are your thoughts on this one? It's pretty cute, right? Um, the next one we did, this is one of my personal favorites. I really hope you love it. Baby, this is my personal favorite. Like, it's so cute and tiny. Put your hand on here if you think it's cute. Yes. Oh no, you're gonna ruin the little ones. Cool, so what do you think about this one? Oh my God, his face is almost gone. Any thoughts on this one? Do you think it's cute? Give me your hand if you think it's cute. Give me your hand, it's cute. All right. 
following that one, this is, ugh, I'm embarrassed to show you this. This one has got to be my least favorite work. It's kind of too tiny, but it's still kind of cute, right? Is it cute or what? Okay. And now this one for the grand finale. Can I get a round of applause? <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up or a huge pause up. Let us know down below what other videos you want to see with this little lazy boy. And let me know which of the five was your favorite. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you join the family by hitting that subscribe button and hit that little bell to turn the little bell on. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye. In case you missed it, Audi Squad memberships are now live. Oh my gosh, I invite you to join our exclusive squad by hitting the join button down below. If you don't see it, you can also check it out in the description down below. It's pretty much a secret club where you're going to be unlocking so many secrets to my life. Sisterhood with Rosalina, very personal Q&As, live streams monthly, pictures that you've never before seen, videos that you've never before seen, and pretty much just sneak peeks into the next chapter of Rosalina's live, my live, some merch discounts and content made specially just for you. If you guys are interested, all you to do is click that little join button down below or the link in the description. Love you guys!